In this lesson we're going to go ahead and um, make the fender for our car here and also make the license plate for our car, the front license plate for our car. And it just takes a little bit of um, time to go ahead and just duplicate faces, extrude uh, extrude them off, shape it the way that we want, and uh, just have it placed where we needed to have it placed. You know, I think we need to to go ahead and make our our fender. And then just, you know, place it where I think it's going to be placed. A lot of modeling a car is just, you know, basically trying to to get it to flow properly and um, you know sometimes just trying to to basically make sure that everything's you know going to fit properly and in the right sp right p places and so like whenever I go to model our wheel it'll make it easy easier for us to adjust the the wheel wells around the wheels wheel so that it you know fits fits properly and um, retains its shape the right way and sometimes when you do that, it's just, you know, model something else. It's just going to make the car that much easier to fit other pieces of the car. And you really want the, the car to flow properly. And sort of retain um, the shape and style that you want. And it, it just takes a little bit, of, little bit of effort. And sometimes you have to adjust it and do this and that and, and that's fine and you can see that I mirrored the the geometry for the fender over here and I'll just have to go ahead and merge those verts You definitely want to be mindful. Make sure you merge every vert that you have to merge because if you don't, um, light's going to cast through the model and you really don't want that to happen. And to make the license plate, I'm simply flattening out um, a couple faces, and then I'll just simply extrude in, um, and then just duplicate faces off to, to go ahead and make the license plate in the license plate holder, and delete some, some faces off. And just have to make sure that you, you know, duplicate or <laughs> extrude the right faces. And add the uh, the right edge loops in here so that it's going to retain its shape. And as you can see, you know it's looking pretty good already. and then I'll just duplicate the faces off for for the license plate and it'll make it real easy to to go ahead and make the license plate there 
make sure they're flat so that it's not going to cause any any issues. Go ahead and basically inset in again. So that the license plate holder here is going to be uh, two pieces instead of just one. As you can see, I'm just you know adding thickness to to the license plate holder, and then you know just a couple extra edge loops to make sure it's going to retain its shape and make sure it hold it holds its shape. You always want to be mindful. And make sure you add the uh, the edge loops in the right areas so that it is gonna you know maintain and hold its shape the right way. I'll just have to basically move it back into place here. And the the actual part of the license plate doesn't actually have to have any thickness because it's only going to be seen from pretty much one side. Plus, it's inside of the holder, and and there you go. There is our license plate and our bumper or our fender.